The Berenstain Bears and the Attic Treasure by Stan and Jan Berenstain, narrated by me. It's just a pile of junk upstairs, but it's full of surprises for all of the bears. The bear family was spending a quiet evening at home in the big tree house at the edge of the forest deep in bear country. Papa Bear was reading the paper, Mama Bear was looking at the latest issue of Tree Housekeeping magazine, and Brother and Sister Bear were playing a game. Here's an interesting idea, said Mama, showing Papa a feature in the magazine. The headline said, Convert your gloomy, cluttered attic into a lovely family room. Very interesting, agreed Papa, looking at the before and after pictures. Our attic sure is cluttered, said Brother. And gloomy, agreed Sister. Up the stairs they went to the seldom visited room at the top of the treehouse. As they looked into the gloom and clutter, boxes piled on boxes, strange shapes leaning against the other strange shapes, they pictured a neat, clean, cozy new room. Let's do it, said Mama. Let's get rid of this mess and have a lovely family room. But what will we do with all this junk? asked Papa. We'll have a yard sale, Mama said. Hey, terrific, he said. We'll turn this worthless junk into cash. Super, said Brother. Super de duper, agreed Sister. The next day the Bear family went to work on the project. Papa made a big sign which said, Big yard sale tomorrow at two o'clock. It'll be so nice having a family room up here said Mama as she began rummaging through the boxes piled on boxes. And think of all the money we'll make, said Papa as he began looking through an old chest of drawers. I wonder how much we'll get for this piece of junk, he added, dusting off an old cracked honey pot. That piece of junk happens to be one of our first wedding presents, said Mama, taking it and tenderly putting it aside. What are these funny old pictures? asked Brother as he and Sister looked through a dusty photo album. Those funny pictures, young fellow, said Papa Bear, just happened to be your mother and my wedding pictures. It was true. There were Mama and Papa all dressed up as bride and groom. Brother and Sister were very impressed, but Sister was a little puzzled, too. Where were we? She wanted to know as she looked through the album. We weren't born yet, silly, explained Brother. Oh, she said. Then changing the subject, she asked, Hey, what is this? That's my old twirl-a-hoop, said Brother. Here, I'll show you how to do it. But he couldn't get it going. He had lost the knack. Sister turned out to be a twirl-a-hoop whiz. We can't sell this. It's terrific, she cried, twirl-a-hooping up a storm. So one by one, it was decided the things in the attic, the cracked honey pot, the wedding pictures, the twirl-a-hoop, weren't really junk at all. They were family treasures and many other things as well. The framed painting of great-great-uncle Ned, who first settled Bear Country. Papa's old baseball card collection. The trumpet Mama used to play in her school band. And the trophy Papa won for coming in second in a sack race. Now here are some things we can surely get rid of said Mama Bear, pointing to a pile of baby furniture. But that's our baby furniture, protested Sister. Yeah, what if we ever want to have another baby? asked Brother. Good thinking, chuckled Papa. After a moment's thought, Mama agreed, which left the Bear family with nothing to offer at the big yard sale. So the sale was canceled. 
It turned out that the bears didn't have to convert their attic into a family room. All it needed was a little cleaning and straightening, because it already was one. The best sort of family room a family could ever have. The End <laughs>